I wouldn't have my own devotional life. I wouldn't read the Bible for myself. Hi everyone, my name is Malika Ashman and I'm from the UK, from London, born and raised. When I was little, we used to go to like a Catholic church um, up until the age of six. Um, I don't really remember much about the Catholic Church, but um, we would just go every Sunday as part of just life. And then um, we started going to Calvary Chapel, and I remember just really enjoying church at Calvary Chapel. Um, it was called Calvary Chapel South London. An American pastor came over to like London a few years back, maybe a decade ago, before prior to that, and planted the church. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed church growing up. Um, I grew up with my younger sister, um, our family is very small, so just me and my sister and my mum and my dad left when I was four, I think, he, when I was four, um, but the church family really came in and kind of became our extended family for me and my sister, so um, we never really like felt the absence of um, a father and um, so yeah, every Sunday we'd go to church, we'd look forward to going to church, we wouldn't want to like skip church or anything. It was always like the highlight of the week um, and yeah, even at school we went to a Catholic school which, um, although we were going to Calvary Chapel, um, I could see the differences between being a Catholic and then being like a born again Christian. I could see the differences like in my class and how um, the kids interacted, like they wouldn't talk about the Bible or they wouldn't really understand who Jesus is. Um, they were just kind of just you know, going for the sake of it. And um, yeah, it was very much kind of worshiping Mary too, which I never understood, but um, we had to do it. Like we had to say the Mary prayer, the special Mary prayer. Um, I personally met Jesus when I was like in my late teens and after I'd done um, summer of service in Austria and um, so prior to that I, I had been um, always in a Christian community but never really um, understood like the personal relationship that I could have with Jesus so um, I believed in God, I, be I believed in what Jesus done for, for us but I never, like I wouldn't have my own devotional life, I wouldn't read the Bible for myself, just listen to sermons and um, that sort of thing. So after going to Austria, they taught us how to like make your own devotion. Um, you know, how, I I also shared my testimony there. I think um, how to like read the Bible, study the Bible um, a bit more, and like how to grow in your faith. And I think that's when I um, when I came back, I decided like I want to make um, this faith my own and like trust in Jesus. So um, yeah, also just like coming from that very spiritual uh, spiritual atmosphere like being away in Austria kind of like in the mountain tops um, there's like no there's not that much like worldliness but when I came back um, to London I could kind of see everything around me all the sin and it really um, like made my spirit uh, sorrowful and that's when I realized like oh I, I can't live in this I can't live in sin like I can't live in sin like this like I want to be different um, so I kind of like started a Bible study in school and I was really on fire for God and I would even try and like share the gospel with my atheist friends and um, that was a really um, like the kind of beginning of my journey but like I was really on fire for God and then yeah moving onwards it's kind of been up and down. For quite a long time I've had this desire to come to Japan um, in particular and um, God has done many miraculous things um, in terms of getting me to Japan and like showing me things about Japan and even being able to learn Japanese um, in high school and in university right now I'm studying it and um, I, it's, it's strange because prior to coming to the SOS I was praying like to God like uh, why Japan like why is this on my heart and why do you keep opening doors because um, often Sometimes you really love something, but God can close the door, right? But it's like he kept on opening doors um, for Japanese or Jap something related to Japan. Um, and just being here now, I can kind of see the ministries I could get like um, involved in and 
like what I can offer, the skills that I can offer to the um, service, the ministries and missions that's happening here already. Um, just I can also see myself like coming back and um, building relationships with the Japanese and maybe starting something with the Japanese if I'm able to get to a really good proficiency level, which I aim to do by going back and studying even more. Um, yeah, God has done amazing things in my life to be to be able to um, be here and to learn about the culture and um, be around the people here. And um, I, I don't have a very, very clear picture yet, but I just know that um, he wants me to come back and keep refining myself and, and keep learning from people and kind of like humble myself too and not um, come thinking that I know everything, but kind of just be willing to learn um, and be willing to grow. And um, yeah, so I kind of see growth in the future, maybe maturing as a Christian as well and really getting back into my word because um, that's something I neglected for a very long time. Um, still in church, still believing, but just like not reading the word at all. So I kind of came like spiritually dead in a way, you know, like just very dry off the word and not, um, not being fed. And like coming here now, I can see the importance of um, God's word and just, um, so I'm kind of excited to come back um, more mature and more um, in my word and like um, more developed and refined as a person in order to help in the ministries here in Japan. Um, so the biggest thing I learned, um, just in terms of the ministry here, how it works, is that you have to stay here for a long time. Um, if you're a missionary or if you if you have a ministry here, you don't just kind of come and go. Um, even for us, like we've been here for five weeks and um, although that's a short period of time, like if we were to come back, um, I could only see that being like long, long term. And you just have to be willing to like give your time, your energy, um, just giving your all into it. And you can't do it like half-heartedly, you can't give like 50%. Um, because like the Japanese will see that you know this they'll see the commitment they'll see the passion you have for, the, for, for Jesus and for them and um, th that's what um, that's what it requires here in Japan like um, just like also building relationships is really important and um, getting to know them over years not just months um, the Japanese often don't get saved um, instantly instantaneously it's like a process so just learning that is really interesting, just seeing how uh, ministry works here and um, just see how committed everyone is to what they do. Um, that's been a real eye, open, eye opener for me um, and something that I want to work towards too. So if you want to ask me more questions or connect with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Blessed With Colour. Um, check out CCBC Instagram as well. We've got videos up on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jonah from CCBC Japan. Just wanted to let you guys know that SOS 2019 is over. Very sad, but hey, make sure you guys check out our website. We'll have information about SOS 2020. So if you guys want to be a part of that, please sign up next year. And so with that, all our videos are going to start changing a little bit. We have a rotation of videos starting in August, different things that are going to be happening. And so we'll have testimonies, some how-to on worship, and even worship music videos as well. So make sure you guys keep up and continue to watch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Our vision behind the videos is so that you guys can be encouraged and edified and be pushed forward to do a work for Christ, especially here in Japan. So make sure you guys support us again by liking our videos and sharing our videos. That will help us immensely. See you guys soon and God bless.